Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow shaded circle with the center O and this uh, white square PECF fully inscribed in a big uh, blue square ABCD as you can see in this given diagram such that the area of this uh, yellow circle has been given to us as pi centimeter square and moreover uh, this segment uh, DE equals to this segment uh, EC and likewise this segment uh, FC equal to this segment uh, BF and furthermore uh, these points uh, M and N are uh, the points of tangency and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, big uh, blue square ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. We know the area of this uh, yellow circle has been given to us as pi centimeter square. And we are going to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, circle. I'm going to label the radius uh, as lowercase r. Now we are going to find the value of uh, lowercase r. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area is always equal to pi r square where lowercase r is the radius. And the area has been given to us as pi. So therefore we can write the area of this uh, circle as pi equals to pi times uh, lowercase r square. And now we are going to divide both sides by pi to isolate r square. This pi and pi is gone. So therefore uh, r square value turns out to be equal to 1. And now I'm going to undo this square by taking square root on both uh, sides. So therefore our lowercase r radius value turns out to be positive one centimeter. So thus the radius of this uh, yellow circle turns out to be equal to one centimeter. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, square uh, PECF. I'm going to label uh, its side lengths uh, as uh, lowercase uh, a across the board. And since uh, this segment uh, DE equal to this segment uh, EC. If this segment is lowercase a, then this is going to be lowercase a as well. And likewise, uh, this segment uh, BF is going to be lowercase a as well, since uh, this segment uh, equal to this segment uh, EC. So thus we can see the side length uh, of this uh, big uh, blue square is going to be a plus a is going to be equal to 2 times lowercase a. And now our task is to find the value of this uh, lowercase uh, a before we could calculate the area of this uh, big blue square a, b, c, d. And now let's make an observation. We can see that uh, these uh, segments uh, are uh, equal. Likewise, these uh, segments are equal as well. So therefore we conclude that this uh, point P is at the center of this uh, big blue square A, B, C, D. And in this uh, next step I have connected uh, these uh, vertices uh, A and uh, C as you can see such that uh, all these uh, points uh, are uh, collinear on this uh, diagonal. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle P, E, C. And we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case uh, this uh, p c is the hypotenuse. Whereas uh, these uh, two segments uh, lowercase a and lowercase a are our two other legs. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, a square plus uh, a square is going to be equal to our hypotenuse uh, p c square. I'm going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore our p c segment length uh, is going to be a times uh, square root of 2. 
So thus our this uh, PC segment length turns out to be a times square root of 2. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, segment uh, AP is going to be equal to this segment uh, PC as you can see in this given equation. And we know our uh, PC length is uh, a times uh, square root of 2. So I'm going to substitute that value a times uh, square root of 2 over here. So therefore we can write our uh, AP length uh, is going to be a times uh, square root of 2. I'm going to label this one as our equation number 1. And here in this uh, next step I'm going to connect this center O with these two points of tangency M and uh, N. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, ON is the radius uh, of this uh, circle. And we know our radius is 1. So this uh, radius is going to be 1. And likewise uh, this uh, OM is radius as well. So this is going to be 1 unit as well. And uh, this uh, OP is radius uh, as well. So this is going to be 1 centimeter as well. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be exactly 90 degrees. So no wonder these uh, angles are going to be 90 degrees each since uh, these are our radii and these are our tangent lines. So therefore we can see that this uh, ANOM is the square. So therefore we conclude that this segment uh, AM is going to be 1 and likewise this segment uh, AN is going to be 1 as well. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AMO and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case uh, our hypotenuse is this segment uh, AO length. Whereas our two other legs are uh, 1 and 1. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean uh, formula. So that is going to be equal to 1 square plus 1 square is going to be equal to a o square. I'm going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore uh, our this AO segment length uh, turns out to be square root of uh, 2. So thus our uh, this uh, AO segment length turns out to be square root of 2. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole uh, AP length uh, is going to be equal to the sum of these two individual lengths uh, AO plus uh, OP as you can see in this given uh, equation. And we know our uh, AO segment length uh, is uh, square root of 2. So I'm going to substitute that value over here. And likewise this uh, OP length uh, is 1. So I'm going to substitute 1 over here. However from this equation 1 we can see our uh, AP length is uh, A times square root of 2. So therefore I'm going to substitute that uh, value a times square root of 2 over here. So therefore uh, after the substitution this is going to become a times uh, square root of 2 is going to be equal to square root of 2 plus uh, 1. And now I am going to divide both sides by square root of 2 to isolate a. This 2 square root of 2 and square root of 2 is gone. So therefore uh, a value turns out to be square root of 2 plus uh, 1 divided by square root of 2. And now we are going to rationalize this uh, denominator by multiplying uh, and dividing by square root of 2 at the very same time. And now we are going to multiply these uh, numerators and likewise we are going to multiply these uh, denominators as well. So therefore if we multiply these uh, numerators uh, square root of 2 times square root of 2 is going to give us uh, simply 2 plus uh, 
1 times uh, square root of 2 is going to give us uh, square root of 2 divided by square root of 2 times square root of 2 is going to be simply 2. So thus our uh, lowercase a value turns out to be square root of 2 plus 2 all over 2. And now we know that our this uh, big blue square uh, side length is uh, 2 times a as you can see in this uh, equation. And our uh, a value is square root of 2 plus 2 all over 2. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So this is going to be 2 times uh, our a value is square root of 2 plus uh, 2 all over 2. And here we can see this 2 and 2 cancel each other out. So therefore uh, our this uh, big blue square side length turns out to be square root of 2 plus uh, 2. So thus uh, this uh, big blue square uh, side length uh, turns out to be square root of 2 plus 2. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, big blue square A, B, C, D. And now let's recall the area of a square formula. Area of a square is always equal to S square where S represents the side length of the square. And in our case, uh, the side length of the square is square root of 2 plus 2. So therefore, the area of this uh, big blue square is going to be simply square root of 2 plus uh, 2 whole uh, square. And now let's recall this uh, famous uh, identity. A plus B whole square could be written as uh, A square plus B square plus 2 times AB. And we are going to apply this identity on the right hand side of this equation. So therefore, uh, this is going to become uh, 2 plus uh, 4 plus uh, 4 times uh, square root of uh, 2. And if we simplify this thing, that is going to give us 6 uh, plus 4 times uh, square root of 2 centimeter square. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations, the big uh, blue square area turns out to be 6 uh, plus 4 times square root of 2 centimeter square. And that is going to be approximately equal to 11.66 centimeter square as well. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.